right, man. I'm getting tired of social media. I ain't even gonna sit here and lie to y'all. Cody Rhodes has been champion for literally like 10 days now. And folks are tweeting things like this. Wow, Cody Rhodes truly will be the most boring champion the WWE has ever seen. Dog, how did you get this from eight days of Cody Rhodes being champion? This was after Raw or SmackDown, whatever it was. Point is, this tweet was four days ago. He didn't even have a full week as WWE champion. Cody Rhodes already boring ASF. We need Roman Reigns back ASAP. Buddy, I got some news for you. Roman Reigns would have not been here right now. Cody Rhodes is boring as hell, LOL. Yeah, I mean, I guess. And then you got real Omer Q, who's, I respect his takes. And it's really annoying that I got to see this from him. Y'all make sure to go check out his channel at Real Take Wrestling. Jay should be champion. Y'all can't be serious right now. Why do you guys think that it's fair to judge Cody Rhodes' title reign a week into it? And don't get me wrong. You guys could be completely right. But when we're going to know if you guys are right is going to be maybe one or two months later two months max because right now we're still waiting on the draft and that's at the end of april next week so why is this such a huge deal at the moment why cody rhodes is getting all this slack i mean man roman reigns was a part-timer he wasn't even around every show and i get it some of you guys dislike cody some of you guys hate him for whatever reason but that brother is your wwe champion and you got to respect it it is his kingdom now it is his time I just don't get it, man. I just think that it's really unfair. Cody's getting this type of treatment, and it just don't make no sense to me. How is it boring? You know, I'm I, he's going out there. He's cutting promos, and right now, that's really all they have. I mean, he can wrestle, but it's hard to give the guy a break. I mean, right now, he's in the UK wrestling. Wrestle Shinsuke Nakamura, I found out earlier today. I get it why they're, you know, keeping him off wrestling on TV for a bit. You know, he basically wrestled every day in March, by the way. There was like a schedule that he dropped and he was literally active every single day in March. Damn near. It was crazy. It was crazy. And Cody Rhodes deserves this moment. Um, I think that we as a community, as you know, it might just be an IWC thing, but I think that Cody Rhodes needs a little bit of time. Obviously, when Roman Reigns had the title. It felt prestigious. It still feels prestigious to me now. I just think that whoever was going to beat Roman for that title, you were still going to notice a slight bit of drop off because at the end of the day, you're coming off the hottest, longest title reign that we've seen in the past 20 years. To me right now, Cody Rhodes just needs time. He needs an opponent. Unfortunately, Backlash isn't going to be that feud that everybody's waiting for because they're only going to have maybe one or two weeks to build it. Um, after we figure out who wins between AJ and LA Knight. So there's not really going to be much there. But I think after Backlash and the draft happens, that's when we're going to start seeing Cody Rhodes' reign really develop and really start to be something. Right now, it's tough, and he's in a tough situation himself because there's not much you can do because of the draft. Once the draft comes around, then we really will know, okay, what are they going to do with the title? What, are, what is the new story coming along? Because for all we know right now, Cody Rhodes may not even be on Raw. It sounds like Raw this week was his last moment on Monday Night Raw. It sounds like he's going to SmackDown. That doesn't really make that much sense to me because Netflix is right around the corner in a couple months. I don't know why you wouldn't want your top champion on Raw. But if he's going to SmackDown, it is what it is. They probably have to keep ratings up on SmackDown. And I mean, that's one of the guys, you know, that you put on there if you really want to draw. I think Cody Rhodes needs some time. 10 days is not enough. And I get it. A lot of people saying this are more Roman fans than anything. Y'all wanted him to retain so bad. But guess what? Roman Reigns would have won and then he would have been gone. That brother's in Hollywood right now with Kiki Palmer. And I'm not joking about that neither. So give my boy a little bit of slack. Let's give him some time. Let's wait. So we can actually get a feud with some backstory to it. We still got Randy Orton feud to explore. That feud right there is going to be fire. I wish AJ Styles and Cody had a little bit more time to actually build the match. Because that's an actual wrestling match that I want to see. AJ Styles and Cody Rhodes for the WWE Championship. They're going to put on a hell of a match. Just think you got to give the man just some time, man. And that's just the way I feel about it. Let me know down below. How do you guys feel about this? Do you guys think Cody Rhodes' reign is boring? Do you guys think that what people saying right now is just trash? Because to me personally, it makes no sense. There's no way that I'm judging a title reign off 10 days, even if I don't like the wrestler. Those are just my two cents, though. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys did enjoy this video, I'm going to catch y'all. Peace.